Hello, welcome to this data engineering. Okay, in this uh, module 7 KC, uh, that is uh, ingesting by batch or by a stream. So, I will go ahead with this KC of module 7. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, I will put uh, full screen. So, I will start this the first screen, first question on your screen. A data engineer must build a process to ingest sales transactions from a line of business database at the end of each day and load them into their data warehouse. Which task would they perform as part of creating the process to ingest these records once per day? So that is uh, connect to the database that contains uh, sales transaction, uh, I mean uh, transactional uh, uh, data. Okay, I just say submit, yeah that is correct. So the second one. A medical research company has uh, ribonucleic acid RNA, okay, sequencing machine that stores its private results to f uh, a file store on their lab's premises network. So the data science team wants to get this ingest and these results as a part of their new ML project. How should they ingest this data into an analytics pipeline? So you can use a data sync, yes absolutely transfer this data from on-premises files to store on an Amazon S3 into the data lake. Yeah, I'll just say submit, correct. The third one, the team that is responsible, uh, the team that is responsible you know, not this, uh, to extract ETL, development has a new developer, the manager wants to uh, them to author author jobs for ETL processing. How might the developer use the AWS glue to get a quick start on this task? So I use this AWS uh, glue uh, studio to build the pipeline. Yes, this is the correct answer. I just say submit. Yes. The fourth question on the screen. A data engineer has ingested a new JSON uh, data source into Amazon S3 bucket. Uh, in their data lake. The AWS Glue data catalog maintains a metadata about data in the lake. Which feature of uh, AWS Glue requires the least amount of coding to make it easy for the data scientist to explore the data? So this should be uh, use AWS Glue Studio. This. So run a run an AWS Glue crawler on the AWS S3 bucket. Yes, that is correct. The fifth question. An AWS Glue job is scheduled to run nightly to feed uh, sales reports. The reports have not been populated with uh, updated data for the last two days. What is the good first step to troubleshoot the issue? So you can say uh, review the data. Amazon CloudWatch and Glue Jobs, that should be the proper one, looks like, yes. Sixth one, an ETL developer has been asked to optimize the performance of a new job that is, uh, that they are writing, which approach would help them optimize their performance? Mm. You choose this uh, paraquet as a file format and then use the support file for coding. Yeah, that's correct. The seventh one, a data engineer needs to ingest, I mean, uh, uh, clickstream data from shopping website. The data will be used in a monthly reporting and will be transformed as it arrives to feed a real-time analytics dashboard. This will keep uh, the Kinesis data streams to ingest the data, which configuration would meet the need. So configure. Kinesis data firehose to consume the data and send it to S3 and Kinesis data analytics to consume and transform the uh, data into real time analytics. Yes, that is correct. The eighth one, which statement describes how data is stored and accessed in Kinesis data streams? So you can say developer should write scripts, now each data uh, record on the stream includes a unique sequence number partition key, absolutely. So, 
So, the next question is 9 Prabha. Yeah, users of an application that consumes data from an Amazon Kinesis data stream uh, report periodic gaps in the record uh, sequence. A developer verifies and that there is no errors as producers are writing to the stream and there are no gaps in the data that is being sent to the stream which configuration adjustment must help might help. So, increase the retention period for uh, stream records this should be the best one yeah I think I think hopefully yes and the last question a data engineer needs to ingest messages from devices that publish messages to uh, a lighting topic that is uh, and the heating topic which AWS IoT core configuration must might help use to store lighting data to a weekly reporting set up an a uh, set up ok a AWS IoT core rules that router lights messages to an Amazon DynamoDB table I think this looks correct let me check let me submit yes I think uh, this is correct all uh, 10 out of 10 so this completes our module 7 ok and we will uh, meet into the next topic thank you and bye